All right, so today I want to take a look at another pedal that I've borrowed from a local musician here that was nice enough to uh, lend it to me. It's the uh, Wampler Ethereal Delay and Reverb. I keep almost wanting to say Ethereal, and I know I'll hear about it in the comments. So if I mess up and say Ethereal instead of Ethereal, that's what I mean. Uh, but this is put out by Brian Wampler, which great pedal maker. And uh, yeah, this is really cool and one I've wanted to try out for a little while. Uh, it is also available in, I think it's the Metaverse uh, delay pedal that they have. I don't know if the controls match up exactly with that. Maybe at some point I'll get the chance to uh, to demo that pedal. But uh, this one is is pretty cool. I've, I've spent a lot of time just kind of messing around with it, trying to... Uh, figure out what to, to do and really I just got carried away playing with it so uh, like I said it's a delay and a reverb which a lot of people you know need two dedicated pedals for that and they might want something that's uh, you know different type of reverb than what this provides which is I, I think kind of like a shoegazy it's capable of doing that but I don't know that that's the main thing with it let me just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So of course I'm plugging the guitar into the ethereal pedal and then going into the simplifier coming out in stereo is what you're hearing. Right now I've got the Marshall uh, amp setting on it uh, pretty straight up and then I've got my Telecaster that I'm playing. Uh, Telecaster for Brian. That's my clean sound. So I've well, and I should say, I'm not going directly into this. I'm going into the simplifier and then using the effects loop for this. I figure that's probably the better way to do this. Even though it's just a mono uh, signal, I can't do it in stereo, that's still probably the best spot for this uh, instead of in front of the amp. So with everything just kind of straight up. So it's not overpowering, but you can hear it goes for a long ways at this point. Very cool. So you have delay and reverb controls here. So this delay knob on the left uh, bottom side is going to be the speed, and you notice that light flashing at the speed of the, of the pulse of the delay. So you can set it pretty slow. Not like crazy outrageous slow, but slow enough. And then the feedback is going to be like the uh, amount of regenerations you're going to hear with the uh, with the delay. And then the delay mix is obviously like how much that's mixed into the signal, which it, it can get pretty loud uh, with it. And I'll, I'll try to do some of that. And then the reverb mix, I think you just have this one control. So it, it's cool that this is like both of them in one. But let's say that you just wanted to show off the delay first. Uh, let's start like this. I'm going to bring this stuff kind of down here. The delay's up. Let's see. So it's there. It goes away pretty quick. If I bring like the kind of glitchy sounds you can get by turning the knob with this. Let's leave it about there. Let's turn up the uh, feedback a little bit more. So you see what I mean about adding like the regenerations there with the notes. And getting it up here about three o'clock. Start getting that kind of like feeding back on itself sound. This might be a good time to point out this trails button on the side here too. So right now I have this engaged, so if I'm to turn this pedal off, it's still kind of going with that regeneration. And it does sound like it's getting a little bit fainter. If I turn it up more, and then turn up the mix, let's go ahead and do one of these. See, it's starting to feed back on itself. down so this could be a cool pedal you know even if you're 
kind of shoegazy type of band to like get down on the floor at the end of a song and kind of like balance out uh, the the different knobs you could I mean that's pretty cool uh, but what I was talking about with the trails is that with that button in if I have those if I have those delays just go on oh I turned the pedal off and I turn the pedal off then and they're still going but if I turn the trails off turn the pedal off it goes away turn it back on it's actually still there so probably just leave it in that spot and pull this down we'll do this okay so let's talk about the tone knob for a minute so it's a little bit different it's not the type from my understanding anyway, it's not the type where it's like zero would be all the way over here and ten would be all all the way over here uh, my understanding is that when it's straight up the middle, that's kind of, uh, or noon, you know, 12 o'clock, whatever, that that's uh, kind of like the um, just not much alteration in the tone. And as you start turning it to the right, then the, uh, the sound is going to get a little bit brighter. So let's with that, let's go to about 3 o'clock. Let's go to all the way. And you hear it's not so much like on the guitar sound, like when I'm playing, it's it's changing on the repeats. My guitar is still pretty clean. And if I come down here, it's going to be kind of a warmer, darker tone. But it doesn't get like, uh, like feedbacky or wolfy or anything crazy like that so it's a very usable tone knob i'm probably just going to keep it right here in the center for now though so you can make some cool noises just with the delays and everything i'm going to turn this yeah kind of like that there we go uh let's do this though let's drop the mix of this all the way down so i got nothing right now but let's bring up the reverb okay So it's not the delay. You know, I'm going to hit the chord. It takes it a good while to kind of die off there. Let's go up here. Three o'clock. You know, sounds pretty good on the Marshall settings. Let's uh, flip over to the Fender real quick. Adjust a few things. Bring up my volume. Power drive a little bit. A little bit of the preamp gain. I'm not going to play real hard, I don't think. Let's go to the neck pickup on the Telecaster 2. Big difference. No delay in that sound or anything. That's just the reverb all the way up. And it just has that one control, which is really cool. I think uh, I think the tone does have some effect over the reverb, though. So I shouldn't say it has only just that one control. But it, it controls the delay and the reverb. Let's, let's bring some delay into this. Not much, just a little bit.
very cool. Uh, I, I'm going to get carried away and just start jamming uh, if I'm not careful here. So let's try to stay on track with it. Uh, there are th four delay modes total. So I've been staying this whole time on just the first mode, which is just your basic quarter note. Notice that the delay is kind of flashing or uh, hitting at the same time as the flash is. Relatively, anyway. If you bring it up. So it gets just almost solid right there. If I turn the delay mix up, you can turn the reverb all the way down. Oh. There we go. It's almost fluttery at that speed. Let's keep it. Let's keep it right about there. Bring that reverb back in. Balance that out. So the second mode of it is going to be kind of a triplet, but I, I don't know. Listen. Need more delay to hear it. See, to me, I know it says triplet, but it almost sounds kind of gallopy, like da 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 And I would expect triplet to be like da 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 you know, so... It's cool, but, yeah, like I say, I'm kind of, at least the way that I'm hearing it, uh, almost as like that gallop instead of a triplet, but, uh, you know, just uh, something I'm curious about. Uh, the next mode is going to be a quarter note stacked with uh, a dotted eighth with that, so it's going to be like... So you have the single delay, which is quarter note, and then you have the added on dotted eighth. So that mode probably sounds a little bit more delay like the, f the first mode it, it's so smooth it's almost uh, I don't know if the word transparent really applies to this but uh, yeah it's it's really a, a great mixture of the reverbs and the delays so you hear that da now that one is a little bit more gallopy even than that mode too but it's still different enough from the mode two, and then the fourth mode is kind of interesting here, where it's uh, it's like a quarter note and an eighth, but they like hear themselves and regenerate, and the fact that there's like the eighth note in there is kind of putting it uh, off from the the regular beat. So let, let's see what this one sounds like. Might need to have the feedback up a little higher for this. So do you hear that? How it's it's like it starts off kind of normal, but then it starts going crazy fast. Let's turn the speed down a little bit, and we might be able to hear that a little more. Yeah, do you hear that? So it, you know, the quarter note starts at this beat. But then it just starts like stacking on top of each other and kind of like literally feeding back and uh, building as it goes. And you know, it's it's uh, it's great quality. It doesn't like glitch out or anything when I'm doing chords or anything weird like that. No uh, detectable. Uh, latency or anything like that with it. One last thing that I, I want to point out with this, uh, just as I got started, that I kind of noticed. So certain pedals, and maybe this is something I should try, I don't know if it's uh, the fact that this, I don't know if it is true bypass or not, or buffered or not exactly, but uh, when I went to get started, I, I actually didn't have my power supply plugged in, so it was just like this. But I was still able to pass my guitar signal, so even though there was an issue on this with it not actually getting power I'm still able to like pass signal and I know that uh, I might have to try this on like a boss pedal but so you get that little thing when it like actually comes on 
But there's so many pedals that if you were to have a power issue or something like that going to a pedal, then it's just not going to send the signal any further than that. So just a little extra added detail that uh, I feel like Brian probably intentionally threw in there just to make this a better all-around product. Uh, as I said uh, earlier, the ethereal is part of the, uh, the metaverse uh, set of algorithms there. I think the knobs might be a little bit different laid out, but I'm sure that it's going to be very similar uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I could see having the ability to uh, not only run this in stereo through the metaverse, but also have the expression uh, control could uh, could really give this like a whole nother level of usability. I mean, this is still great and everything, but you're really locked into the sounds that you're set with although i pointed out you could like if you want to get really weird like get down on the floor and mess with a few of these different knobs say at the end of a song to buy another guitar player or some tuning time or something like that um, i've seen that done and thought it was kind of interesting and i think this could uh, could also fit into that but uh yeah let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up for today but i hope that this has been uh insightful and uh help you know, I don't want to do like a review or anything, but I hope that this has helped you either decide if this pedal is for you or even if it's not for you and just uh, help you save some money there. So I will see you again here soon. Thank you very much and uh, yeah, have a good one.